lot of discipline to start with. The ability to ask good questions is, I think, the key. Courage to go um, into areas which you never went into before. You have to be comfortable with the empty page. That when you given a problem, there isn't an answer. In fact, sometimes it's very difficult to be able to articulate exactly what the problem is. Mm -hmm. Curiosity, like a childlike curiosity, I think is the uh, is the thing I would say is the, is the one thing you can't teach. I think that's a curiosity. Mm -hmm. So if you know, if you are aware of what you are interested in and and how you would like to uh, um, explore your interests, I think that's what makes a good researcher from the rest. Yeah, Have, having the drive of of solving for solving problems and uh, pushing the technology. So trying new things. Um, you know, people have to be very, they have to be very motivated by the technology. They have to be interested in, in how, how things work, how they can be better. It helps a lot to be in a, in a team of people who are working on similar problems and projects where you can discuss with them and say, hey, I'm, I'm stuck or, I don't know, results are not what I expected, what do you think? They have to kind of be both perfectionist and, uh, and somewhat pessimistic, I think. You have to see the weaknesses in things in order to, uh, you know, to really focus on how to make them better and how to get them stronger. The critical thing is, is good basics. So um, for young researchers, it's important that they, they, they learn the fundamentals of good analytical method. Mm. Uh, they have to be uh, consistent, they have to check their results and they have to mm -hmm. put aside their desire for something to work mm -hmm. and just say, okay, it didn't work. And that's, that's really tough for anybody to do, but you, you gain that through experience.